Head coach Matt Nagy will no longer be calling offensive plays for the Chicago Bears. He's handing over play calling duties to offensive coordinator Bill Lazor. What is up guys? I'm back with another Chicago Bears news video. I cannot believe I'm making this video right now because I really did not think he was going to reveal this information to the public, okay? Because earlier this week, he said to everybody that if he does indeed hand over play calling duties, he was not going to tell everybody about it. So I'm kind of shocked, kind of surprised that this news is coming to us right now. But hey, man, props to Matt Nagy right now because he finally did, in my opinion, what is best for the team, okay? Because although I do believe that, look, switching play callers, it's not going to make us that much better, okay? If you're expecting... Uh, the switch to Bill Lazor to magically make our offense much better, to magically make it into a top offense, you are going to be very disappointed because that's definitely not going to happen. I can guarantee you that, guys. We don't have the personnel to have anywhere close to a top 10 offense in the NFL. We don't have the personnel, the blocking up front, the top-level quarterback play right now, to have an offense that can score consistently above 30 points. It's just not going to happen. But can we get much worse than what we were getting with Matt Nagy? No, we cannot, which is why we made this move, okay? We were bottom five in practically every single category so far this year, okay? We have the worst rushing attack in all of football. We have a terrible passing attack as well. We struggle heavily on third down, okay? We can't even convert third and short half the time. So some of this blame, I think you do have to give to the play caller, regardless of how bad the personnel actually is, okay? This year especially, I mean, Matt Nagy has really not been able to adjust his game plan with the flow of the game, okay? As the game progresses, he's not been able to make any really big adjustments that do help our offense move the ball down the field. I mean, look at us in the third quarter, guys. Our third quarter scoring is the worst in the NFL by a significant margin. It's not even close. We're on pace to be the worst third quarter scoring team in NFL history. We only have one touchdown in the entire, like all the third quarters we played in, which, guys, that tells you that Matt Nagy does not have our team ready to play in the second half. He also doesn't make enough adjustments or maybe doesn't make the proper adjustments to take advantage of what he is seeing on the field and help our offense score points coming out of the half because we've been terrible coming out of the gate after halftime. So taking all these things into account and also looking at how Matt Nagy, as a head coach as well, not just a play caller, he hasn't really been a good head coach either over the past couple weeks, okay? There's been far too many mental errors and mental mistakes, okay? Guys running the wrong routes or misusing his timeouts or, you know, all the penalties that we have right now, okay? I think we're top two in the NFL in penalty yardage. Uh, behind the Jets, I believe, I'll have to look that up, but we're getting a crazy amount of penalties nowadays, okay? Especially on offense, okay? We're getting all these false start penalties, hands to the face, like all these silly mistakes that a good offense does not make. And a struggling offense like ours, can't make those either because we cannot get past those. So from a coaching standpoint as well, Matt Nagy has struggled, but I feel like that's partly due to the fact that he has been trying so damn hard to figure out something that works on this offense. There's a lot of pressure on him as well, okay? His job could be on the line right now because he was hired to be an offensive-minded head coach to change our offense completely, and that has not happened at all in the three years he's been here. So maybe handing over play-calling duties to somebody else for some time, at least for the time being, it might spark something. Like, you never know unless you actually try. Obviously, the chances of something crazy happening are not really that high. We're probably still going to be a bad offense. But you won't know unless you actually try. Look at the New York Jets, guys. The New York Jets, over the past two weeks, uh, Adam Gase handed over play-calling duties to offensive coordinator Dabo Logans, who we're all familiar with, obviously, because he was our offensive coordinator, too, with John Fox. Ever since they made that move, the Jets' offense actually looks like a normal NFL offense, okay? They had a bad game against the Chiefs, but against the Patriots on primetime television, Joe Flacco actually had some pretty decent numbers, and they put up almost 30 points, okay? For the worst offense in the NFL, 30 points is a big freaking deal. Now, obviously, that sample size is way too small. Let's see if the Jets can keep that up, but I'm just trying to say that we lose literally nothing by making this move and we can only potentially gain things okay because you cannot get worse than the Chicago Bears have been playing on offense recently so why not make this move Bill Lazor guys like I mentioned earlier in my other videos he is by no means 
an offensive genius. He's by no means like a crazy offensive mind because throughout his time being offensive coordinator in this league, he's never truly had a great NFL offense. Okay, probably his best year came in 2014 with the Dolphins when he did have the 14th ranked offense in terms of yards. So 14th man being barely above average, that's not really that special. But I mean, to an offense like the Chicago Bears, being average would actually be great. Okay, I would kill to be average. So if he can do anything like that, I mean, I would be pretty happy. But his other years, man, they're not truly that impressive. Okay, in 2015, with the Dolphins, they had the uh, 26th ranked offense based on yards. With the Bengals in 2017, he had the worst offense in the NFL, 32nd based on yards. And the following year with the Bengals as well, he had the 26th ranked offense, also bottom 10, and then he got fired. So guys, Bill Lazor is not going to save the day all by himself. Like if you're expecting crazy things from him, you're probably not going to get them. But if you want any sort of hope to cling on to, it's that he did have at least an above average offense once with the Dolphins. And he he was also uh, Nick Foles' QB coach back in 2013 when Nick Foles did have that Pro Bowl season, obviously with Chip Kelly. Okay, that was definitely the best regular season Nick Foles has ever had in his career. He passed for 27 touchdowns and only two interceptions, a passer rating of 119.2. So Laser does have a lot of familiarity with Nick Foles, but as a play caller, he hasn't truly succeeded in this league. So again, I just I keep on saying this, temper your expectations, guys, because I see a lot of people going crazy in the comments on like bear social media, but You just have to realize that it's not going to change everything dramatically. But what it can do is at least make us a little bit better and maybe closer to being average. Okay, that is all we need to win a Super Bowl this year. We need an average offense. So if switching play callers improves our offense just incrementally by a tiny amount, that would be a great thing for the Chicago Bears. Like sign me up for that because we really don't need that much at all from our offense to win these games. We just need a little bit more. If we just scored like 24 points a game, we'd be winning all these games based on how elite our defense is right now. So I'm not expecting crazy things from Bill Lazor. And we're probably not going to get crazy things. We're not going to get 30 plus points a game. But if we just get a little bit better, this change is going to be worth it because that's all we need to really win games with the star-studded defense that we have. So I really do like this move in that regard because we can't get worse on offense and it can only make us better. So why not try it? But I also like this move because it frees up Matt Nagy to hopefully be a better head coach. Okay, he's going to have the burden of play calling lifted off his shoulders. That's a big burden that you don't have to worry about anymore if you are Matt Nagy right now. So he can focus more on being a better head coach because right now I truly feel like Matt Nagy is not a good head coach. Our guys are not ready to step onto the football field. They're not ready to play football. They're making too many mental errors, too many mental mistakes. So now that Matt Nagy can focus on being purely a head coach, talking with all these guys, talking with his coordinators, and really being that leader of this team again, that could honestly create some positive change as well. It could make us a brotherhood again, possibly, because right now it feels like nobody's truly pumped up to play Bears football. They don't have the same energy, the same passion, the same excitement in their eyes that they saw back in 2018 so maybe you know making Nagy a pure coach again it might change things you never know so every way I look at this guys I mean it can really only improve our situation right now because we can't get worse than what we're getting right now so major props to Matt Nagy for sucking up his ego and trying something new okay giving play calling duties to somebody else because you guys don't realize that is an extremely difficult thing to do as a head coach okay as a play caller to pretty much fire yourself as play caller not the easiest thing to do, especially when your pride is on the line, when you've really spent so many hours, so many years of your life trying to make something work. And guys, don't get it twisted. I mean, Mad Nagy wants this offense to work so badly, and he's working hard at it too. Okay, I bet he does go to the drawing board every day and tries to figure out what's happening, but he really cannot figure it out as of now. I don't know if, if that's due to personnel or maybe he's just not a good play caller in this league, maybe not the brilliant offensive mind that he thought he was. But whatever the case is to, you know, really step back and realize that himself, to realize that what he's doing is not working, I have to give major props to Matt Nagy for doing that because a lot of people in the NFL would not be able to make that move. So I respect Nagy a whole lot. I mean, it had to be a difficult decision to make, but let's hope it pays off for the better. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. But as always, bear down.